Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you guys are doing really wonderful and so we will be taking a look at all that is happening across the North Atlantic. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video. Okay, and so as we return to this satellite imagery, here we can see all that activity and uh, that is in association with the tropical waves out there. So uh, there is one which is making its way toward the Caribbean it should arrive as we head into the middle to latter part of this week likely increasing that rainfall chance even uh, possible flooding across some areas and uh, there is another one behind it and so this is the kind of activity we're going to be seeing these stronger tropical waves moving off Africa and propagating westward and uh, bringing all that moisture and all that rainfall increase to the Caribbean and eventually some of them will develop and so some models are hinting that uh, that tropical wave might try to get itself together but the rainfall is well needed for most spots because it has been very dry and I mean these above average temperatures that we have been experiencing have just been so sweltering so it would be good to have a relief from all of the heat that we have been experiencing but at the same time a flood would do more harm than good and in the case of such occurrence it is important that we take necessary precautions and that is why my channel is here to keep you guys posted so again as we're going to be heading to the mid and latter part of this week we could see the system bring a lot of rainfall to parts of the eastern islands again there's that next one that's going to be following behind it and across the caribbean right now there isn't a whole lot happening there's a tropical wave which is inducing lots of activity in the vicinity of central and northwestern south america especially for colombia and as such quite a bit of rainfall is likely as we're going to be progressing through today and some activity is also seen just in the vicinity of the Cayman Islands, maybe bringing some showers and thunderstorms, similar sort for the northeastern islands and uh, also going into the vicinity of the Grenadines and Grenada. And so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the rainfall map from the GFS model and here we can see that uh, it is getting pretty colorful going to some parts of the southwestern Caribbean and even for northeastern islands. So another tropical wave is out there and uh, it could result in some heavy downpours across some areas at times, especially heading into the afternoon hours uh, again for the southwestern Caribbean a tropical wave is about to enter over into the eastern Pacific so that is producing uh, and will continue to produce a lot of rainfall for some spots likely some flooding across parts of Panama Costa Rica maybe even up to Nicaragua Colombia and uh, in Venezuela there's likely to be some activity maybe for parts of the Guyanas as well as a result of that daytime heat and, and then of course uh, there's likely to be some thunderstorm activity especially as we head into this afternoon across the greater Antilles. So that is what is expected today in terms of the rainfall activity. And then of course, uh, in terms of conditions out there, is still a lot of that dry air extended across the main development region. And that is a huge inhibiting factor. Matter of fact, none of the tropical waves are currently marked uh, as disturbances to watch by NHC, the National Hurricane Center. However, we know that it takes less than a disturbance to produce some uh, life-threatening conditions because there can be heavy rainfall as I said earlier that flood risk is going to be there and uh, there might even be some gusty winds at times so it takes less than a tropical cyclone to result in those uh, kinds of impacts and so the sea surface temperatures are definitely supportive of that shower and thunderstorm activity developing but that isn't the only factor that uh, we have to take into consideration again that dry air it is a huge inhibiting factor all of that uh, dry those dry dusty conditions they help to stabilize the weather so in Stability is what causes these showers and thunderstorms to develop. So more stable weather results in less of that activity. And then those upper level winds, stronger upper level winds result in uh, activity being displaced, all those showers and thunderstorms being cut off uh, and it basically prevents these systems from developing and intensifying but conditions will continue to get more conducive across the Atlantic Basin and I am expecting an active end to the month of August and as we're going to be heading into September but for now watching these tropical waves not marked as disturbances but uh, they could still bring some substantial impacts to parts of the Caribbean and so guys I will continue to keep you posted as time goes by and that is pretty much it for right now and so I hope you found this video to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments I will respond once I get the chance and as always remember to be weather wise.